So I'm Brian Parks, mechanical engineer at Bruker, uh, product designer for the desktop stand uh, for the Tracer 5i. So the desktop stand is uh, designed in a way that it's um, highly portable, fits into our carrying case that it comes in, collapsible, um, fairly lightweight, but also it has enough mass to uh, allow uh, the stand to not tip over and to hold uh, the instrument as well as be um, uh, positioned so that it can be nose up or nose down. So here you can see it, it's, it's in its uh, folded down state. Um, it has uh, some uh, grip uh, padding on the bottom for anti-slip. So uh, there's some areas that people would get into in, in uh, environments where there could be slippery conditions. Um, the, disc, the stand just folds up and that's in its upright position. Um, this button back here is uh, used to uh, install the instrument and to release the instrument and put it in its different positions. Um, it also folds all the way back so that uh, I'll demonstrate how to put it in in its nose up position to use the other accessories. So the first position we'll show is the nose up position. So in its nose up position, the stand is, is laid fully open and we've um, designed the instrument to have this uh, universal Picatinny rail and then there's a uh, block here that's designed universally to, uh, to accept our, our rail system here. So we slide it in that, push and hold the button. The instrument slides all the way up and touches the bezel and comes back to the first notch. And it's ready to go in its nose up position. There's a sample stage, goes on top. And then you can place your sample there and your cover to cover the top of it. So that's uh, ease of access for the, the nose up is, is very simple. Uh, your, your cables are routed through the bottom. Um, then the second position would be the nose down position, which is kind of unique. Um, there's a few uh, opportunities to be able to use that in the nose down position. So to get it back to that point, lift it up, hold the button, slide the instrument out. Nose up position is the same way only this time you have multiple, it'll lock into that first spot and depending on what you're putting underneath it, you have multiple positions that you can uh, set the height at. And in some cases where you have uh, types of material where uh, it might be a powderous and a bag, even though it's up against the sample surface, you want to protect uh, for um, the x-rays in the back. And so this component here is what we call the, the backing plate, the blocking plate, sits in that groove that's in the bottom and rests against the top. So you can put a powderous material here and it still has protection out the back for the x-rays. Uh, for the user, you know, the, the ease of accessibility to be able to have um, this height adjustment, I think is very critical. Um, understanding that there are limitations to the stand, you know, that you could put uh, potentially put uh, larger samples on top of this, but it is it is a desktop stand meant to be used in a desktop application. Um, so it's not uh, it's not for something very big and industrial where you put things in it, you know, and kind of kind of rock it over. Um, but it uh, it comes out uh, very compact, so it's easy to travel with, um, easy to assemble, you know, with our rail system. So. With our uh, accessory rail system, and, the, and this being the desktop stand, the mount that's designed on here is what we call our, our universal um, mount for the, the rail system. And this can be either detached from your, your desktop stand or you could purchase these separately as an individual um, assembly. So I'm gonna take one off here and show you how you can use just this component so that you can mount to your own um, setup if I can break these things. So this, this block 
632 tapped holes. Um, there are some screws that come with it. Uh, you can use your own if you need a little bit longer one, depending on what you're going to mount this to. You just need to leave access for the button. But it basically, if you mounted this to your own rail system or needed to have the instrument mounted somewhere that you used a lot for your own application, um, it just slides on. And then you can use it wherever you need it to be mounted to. Different orientations. So I'd like to thank everybody for watching. Uh, look forward to some more uh, design updates in the future from Bruker.